Hey there, welcome to Module 5. In this course, we will cover group and directory management. Let's jump in. In this module, we will create and manage groups and work teams as well as people, create and manage locations, and create and manage external contacts and authorized orgs. If you are keeping track, this module will cover the rest of the people and permissions section as well as the directory section. Let's get started. Groups are communities within your organization based on common skills, relationships, location, or other information. Under the Directory section, click Groups. The Groups panel pops up. In this exercise, we are going to create a general group. Click on Add General Group. In the Name box, type the name as you want it to appear in Profiles and Search Results. From the Type list, select either Official, which is a work-related group, or Social, which is a non-work-related group. In the Visibility list, Select either public, members only or owners only. Click Save. From here, it will open the group so we can further edit it. On the left side under Edit, you can edit general information, such as name, description, excluding group owners from group ring calls and add an email address to the group. Clicking on Edit Profile Picture will allow you to take a picture or upload an image to the group. If you select Edit Privacy Rules, you can change the group visibility. To add a member or owner, on the right side of the Membership tab, click Add. Click the Individuals or Owners tab. At the bottom, in the Add Person box, begin to type the name of the person you want to add and select it when it appears. Click Save. You can also use a membership rule to include or exclude people who have a connection to the same person in the reporting structure. To define a rule that includes people, click the Inclusions tab. Alternatively, to define a rule that excludes people, click Exclusions tab. When you either add someone to the inclusion or exclusion, there are several settings you can add. Clicking Supervisors means everyone up the chain from the person's manager. Clicking on Manager is who the person reports directly to. Clicking on Self is the person who is the base of the rule. Clicking on Peers is anyone who also reports directly to the person's manager. Clicking Direct Reports is everyone who reports directly to the person. Clicking Distant Reports is everyone down the chain from the person's direct reports. Administrators and business users with group creation permissions can create a group. Create a group for anything. Subject matter experts, projects, or locations. Add people to groups one at a time to build a custom group. Use group membership rules to add or remove members automatically based on their profile information or relationships. Create dynamic groups based on skill expressions. See the members of a group on group profile pages and a person's groups on their profile page. A Genesis Cloud group phone number allows members of a group to receive phone calls. When a caller dials the group number, Genesis Cloud uses the configured routing type to connect the caller with the appropriate agent. From the same group panel, click Enable Calls, then click Edit. In the group phone number box, type the phone number for the group. Alternatively, in the extension box, type the extension of the group. Click Save. You can also set the call route type for the group. In the drop-down, select from Broadcast, Sequential, or Rotary. Broadcast is when a group receives a call. Genesis Cloud randomly alerts 15 members simultaneously with a maximum of 1,000 members in rotation. Sequential is when a group receives a call. Genesis Cloud alerts the first person in the list of group members. Use the checkboxes to designate the sequence of the members. The member you designate as one receives all calls first. To save the sequence, press Enter and then click Save. Rotary is when a group receives a call. Genesis Cloud alerts the next person in the list of group members after the person who received the last call. In the Rotate Calls box, type the number of seconds after which Genesis Cloud calls the next set of group members. In the Stop Ringing box, type the total number of rotations to occur before Genesis Cloud ends the call or transfers it to voicemail. Designating a backup group allows a call to roll over to another group if group members are not able to take a call. Just click the toggle to enable it, then start typing the name of the group and select it. Click Save. By default, email notifications are turned off. Click the toggle to enable. When you turn on voicemail, Genesis Cloud offers more options that you can configure. Clicking on the red circle allows you to record a custom greeting. Alternatively, you can click on Options and upload a greeting. Clicking Reset under Options will allow you to reset to default. To send all group members an email notification, when a new voicemail arrives in the voicemail box for the group, enable email notifications. If you enable email notification, 
The option to include PII appears. To include PII notifications, enable allow PII in email notifications. If your organization is HIPAA compliant, then this option is unavailable. If you enable PII in email notifications for voicemails, you can have Genesis Cloud transcribe the content of those voicemails. To turn on transcription, enable transcriptions and from the list of language, click the language you want. To finish, click Save. Next up, Work Teams. To assess the performance of contact center supervisors, contact center managers typically evaluate the agents who report to those supervisors. To make that easier, supervisors can organize the agents that they manage into work teams. You can create work teams of agents to make it easier to monitor work team performance. Use work teams to configure reports and display agent performance statistics. Under the directory section, click Work Teams. Since we haven't created one yet, let's click New Work Team. In the name box, type the name as it is to appear in views and lists. In the description box, type an explanation of the work team's purpose. In the division box, select the division to which this work team belongs. Click Save. That will return you to the work team's page. Go ahead and click on the work team you just created so we can add some users. Click Add Members. In the member box, begin typing the name of the person and click it when it appears. Continue selecting team members, click Add when done. Let's circle back to Groups and create a Skill Expression group. Under Directory, click Groups. Click on the Skill Expression tab and click Add Skill Expression group. In the Name box, type the name of your group. Optionally, in the Description box, add a description for your group. Under Division, from the list, select the appropriate division. To save your new group, click Save. To manage membership based on ACD skills, Make sure that your agents have the appropriate ACD skills assigned. On the right side of the Membership tab, click Build Skill Expression. To add an expression, click Add. Under Condition 1, in the Select Skill box, begin to type an ACD skill and select the skill from the list. From the Select Operator list, select the operator that you want to use. You can select from the relational operators seen here. From the Select Skill Level list, select the skill level that you want to use. Click Save. Optionally, to add a subcondition, to the right of the expression, click Add. Let's continue on with External Contacts. External Contacts is a comprehensive repository of data about your external organizations and contacts. You can see a streamlined view of all contact and organization data. You can also start a call, send an email, or visit a contacts website directly from a contacts record. And with custom fields, you can personalize your contacts and organizations. You can create external contacts by by using Salesforce CRM Sync CSV Upload External Contacts API on the Profile panel in the CX Agent Workspace or by using the below steps. On the top ribbon labeled Directory, click on External Contacts from the dropdown. From this view, you are able to see existing external contacts and organizations. Click on Add and then Contact. Type the contact's name. The first and last name are required fields. Click the right arrow. The contact information form appears. All contact information fields are optional. Something to note. Search for and select the contacts organization. To associate a contact with an organization, add the organization first. Type the contact's email addresses. In the work, cell, home, and other fields, add the respective telephone numbers. To indicate whether a phone number accepts SMS messages, click click to enable SMS or click to disable SMS. To provide a link to additional information about the contact in the link section, next to external system, type the URL to an external system. To add social media channel information, click Create One. This will allow you to add the contact's Twitter, Facebook, WhatsApp, or line information. To add a mailing address, type the contact's address. If the contact wants to opt out of surveys, check the box. Click Save. Let's finish up the directory section by taking a look at locations next. The locations page lets you add and remove locations from the organization and from user profiles. Genesis recommends that you add each floor to your location rather than creating a new location for each floor. Under directory, click locations. The locations pane opens, showing the existing locations. Let's start by clicking on add location. The add locations window appears. In the name box, type the location name that you want to appear on user profiles. 
to add an image for the location. Under Image, click Choose File. Then select an image file that represents the location. You can use any JPEG, PNG, or GIF file. The maximum file size is 10 megabytes. In the Site Contact box, search for a member of your organization and click the name when it appears in the list. In the Address box, specify the location's address. Do not include information about floors. In the Notes box, type any additional information about this location. Click Save. When configuring Genesis Cloud for use in a call center, you must specify a location for your organization's site and configure it for emergency services. To do so, you'll use the Make This Location Available for Use on Sites setting to specify the default any for calls to emergency services from this location. On the Location Details tab, select Make This Location Available for Use on Sites. In the Emergency Number box, type the phone number. Select one of the following. Use as the any only if the phone or user doesn't have a phone number. Only use this number if no other identifying information is available. Always use as the any. Always use this number, even if other information is available. When you select this option, any call from a phone associated with the location site sends this any to emergency services. In the Floors section, click Add Floor. In Name, type the floor name that you want to appear on user profiles. For Site Contact, Select as many members of your organization as you want. For floor plan, click Upload a new floor plan and select an image file of the floor plan. This setting allows users to drop a pin on the image to indicate their exact workspace location. Organization members can click the target icon to see the floor plan with the pin. Click Save. Click Save to update the location. Next, we are going to walk through creating a user. Let's review the panel. Filter the list to display only active, inactive, both active and inactive, or deleted members. By default, this view displays active and inactive users. The Add Person button opens the Add People to Organization window with the Person tab selected. The Bulk Import button opens the Add People to Organization window with the Import tab selected. The Set State button sets the user's state to active, inactive, or deleted. Under More Actions, the Send Invite button sends email invites to all users who have not received one and who have not logged in. Assign Skills Bulk Assigns Skills to Multiple Users. Assign Queues Bulk Assigns Queues to Multiple Users. Reassign Division Bulk Reassigns Viewers to a Different Division. The Search field sorts the people list based on keyword matching. In the column headers of the People page, the name column is the existing user. A check mark under Active indicates that an administrator set this user as active. License is the current license assigned to the user. Last login is the most recent date in which the user logged in. Roles show how many roles have been assigned to the user. Email is the email address associated to the user. Division is the division the user is assigned to. Welcome sent is when the user was sent an invitation. Work team is the work team the user is assigned to. The more or three vertical dots allows you to configure even more information about the user like ACD skills, password, or set the person as an active. Let's create a user. When you create new users, Genesis Cloud automatically sets their status as active, whether you send the invitation now or later. If you choose to send invitations to new users later and manually set their status to inactive, when you send the invitations, Genesis Cloud automatically changes their status to active. Click Add Person. The Add People panel is displayed. The Link tab allows you to copy a URL and send it to people in your organization that you want to have joined. The Import tab allows you to upload a CSV with multiple users. On the Person tab, complete the full name and email fields. Under Division, click Home and select the division in which to place the user. To enter additional information, click Optional Fields. Title, Manager, Department, Work Phone, and others are optional but recommended. Under Assign Queues, begin typing the first few letters of the desired queue. Under Assign Roles, begin typing the first few letters of the desired role. Send the invite automatically by selecting Send Invite Now. Click Create. Next, let's take a look at the final topic in this module, creating an authorized organization. You can establish a secure relationship with another Genesis Cloud organization, and this relationship allows permitted users and groups from one organization to log into another organization. Under People and Permissions, click Authorized Organizations. To create and send a pairing request, click Create Pair. 
in the Add New Person or Group box, begin typing the name of the Genesis Cloud user or group in your organization who needs access to the other organization. Then select the user or group from the list. Click Create Pairing Link, then click to copy. The pairing link is now in your clipboard. Paste the pairing link into an email or chat message and send it to the person at the other organization you want to pair with. To receive and accept a pairing request, you will receive an email that contains a generic pairing link. Click the link and read the message. To accept the request, click Yes, I authorize access. Select the appropriate role for the user or group. Something to note. You must be in the same region as the sending request to be granted access. To recap, this module we walked through creating a general and skill expression group, work team and location. We also created an external contact, authorized organization and user. As our previous modules, all step-by-step -step guides are attached to this module and can be downloaded through the paid course. Thank you for completing Module 5. In Module 6, we will discuss routing and schedule management. See you there.